Let's make a jumpsuit with shoulder slits. Grab a pair of stretch pants that fit you well and go ahead and cut them out. I'll give yourself about an inch and a half out and just cut them all the way around. Then when you finish one side, flip it the other side and then trace and do it all over again. pocket by tracing your hand and then cut four pieces for the inside of the pockets front and back. I then cut a small little angle off the side of the pocket. Pin one of the pocket pieces up inch and a half from the top and pin it in place. Okay, grab your back pant leg and then we're gonna do the exact same thing we did with the front pant leg. Um, pin the pocket an inch and a half from the top. Okay, here are the front of the pants and we're just gonna take the pockets and fold them to the wrong side. Pin the pockets in place. Once we pin the pockets in place, we're gonna go ahead and sew a quarter of an inch from the seam. Just sew right there to sew the pocket down. Okay, we're gonna take the front pant leg and the back pant leg and lay them face to, down together, right sides together. And then we're gonna sew the sides, not the crotch area. And then we're gonna sew, stop at the pocket area and sew around the pocket, but don't sew the pocket closed. Pockets are sewn in place. And so now we're just gonna take one pant leg and turn it inside out and then drop it inside the other pant leg, match the seams, and then we're gonna sew the crotch together. Grab your draping tape and let's go ahead and design the top. Okay, let's grab our muslin and drape. We're gonna draw a line one inch um, down the side of our muslin so that we can make sure our garment is straight. And then we're gonna go ahead and pin it in place real snug and then copy our draping tape to go ahead and trace our draping tape to trace our design onto the pattern piece. Now it's time to drape the back. Take your pins and secure them. And then if you have any tension, go ahead and cut and make slits at the bottom to release that tension. And go ahead and label this baby and let's go. Next, we're gonna go ahead and trace our pattern piece all the way around. 
and then we're going to add a half inch seam allowance to each piece. I made a mistake by not doing two separate pieces on the pattern piece where the slit in the shoulder happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to correct it on paper so that I can add a half inch seam allowance. I'm going to correct that right after. Put the muslin back on the dress form. The pattern piece is back on the dress form and mark your notches and mark your waistline. I then went ahead and traced my entire design on paper. Lay out your pattern pieces and cut two of each pattern piece. Okay, here's my pattern piece number one with the slit. I'm just going to take my chalk and go around and t um, mark where the slit will go. And this is the part I did make the mistake on. Um, I was supposed to cut off that top part where I'm working at right now um, with the slit, where I'm working with the slit and add a half inch seam allowance to it. I did not do that, but I sewed so close to the seam that it didn't make a difference. But I, in the future, I'll need, or if you're doing this, make a half inch seam allowance where the slits are where it goes down to the seam next i just go ahead and i pent my two front pieces together because i wanted them to be very even when i my slits to be even so i cut them together and all i did was just cut right on up and cut around the slit area so right before i go ahead and pin and sew it together i went and took it over to my overlock machine and just cleaned up the raw edges Sew it together and then pin in the edges around the slit and get ready to put in your double needle to sew it down. First, I'm going to press it before I sew it in place. Now I'm going to put in a double needle into my machine to finish up the slits. And I'm going to put a link below to, for a tutorial on how to add a double needle to any sewing machine. Okay, here's my double stitching around my slit, um, the slit in the top, and it looks pretty darn good. Pin the front together, and let's go ahead and sew it together. All right, let's sew on the front and the back together, right sides together, and let's sew. Okay, pants are ready. All we got to do, we're going to create a uh, waistband to go in between. The waistband at the sides and sew them together. Then take the waistband and mark your four notches to let you know where to pin it at the sides and where to pin it in the, on the sides and in the front and the back so that it'll be evenly distributed. Then once you do that, go ahead and pin the right sides together drop the top inside the waistband pin the right sides together at the bottom of the waistband so when it flip out there's a free edge and then go ahead and sew it together okay guys i got caught up and i forgot i was making a jumpsuit so i did not make a way to get into this jumpsuit so so what i'm going to do is go down about seven inches and i'm going to make a little um, opening in the back it'll be like an open back slit and I'm just gonna cut that down into a U almost and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut all the way down to the seam and just open that back up all the way down to the seam I'm gonna cut it in half I'm sorry guys I just forgot I was making a jumpsuit mistakes happen I didn't prop plan properly sorry and I forgot to tape that part of the video, but I did go ahead and cut all the way down the back where you see the chalk marking down to the waistline. All 
Okay, I'm gonna make a little strip for my buttonhole, um, for my button catch rather. And I'm just gonna take it, make sure it's on the stretchy side, it's about two inches long. And then I'm just gonna uh, fold it over and sew it together and then sew, put it on the end so that it can be my button catch. I'm gonna go ahead and hem the top of the neckline all the way to the back. I'm also gonna sew on the little piece for to catch my um, button uh, right on the edge of the back of the top. And now we're going to make a sleeve. I have a draft of a sleeve that I've made. It's actually for my measurements. And so what I'm going to do is fold it in half because I'm only going to do half a sleeve. Okay, next I've sewn one sleeve together. So what I did was the shirt is inside out and the sleeve is the right side up. I'm going to take that sleeve and drop it, match it at the high shoulder point and at the seam in the inside, in the inside seam. And I'm going to drop it right inside that shirt, make sure that seam is on point, and then sew it together. Okay, sleeves are intact, and so now I'm just going to make a wristband, like not a wristband, but an armband for the bottom of the sleeve. And I'm gonna make sure I make it the same length as the, the waistband. So I'm gonna get started with that. Okay, whatever that measurement is right below my elbow, I'm gonna take that number. For me, it was eight inches. I'm gonna take that number and I'm gonna divide it by two, which would be four inches. And then I'm gonna add a half inch seam allowance to each piece because we're gonna make a front and a back. Sew each square on the sides. The sleeve band. Take one, um, take one of the cutouts and right side out. The other one inside out. Take them, match them up, put one over the other, and pin the seams together. So along the top, and once you're done, you can flip it and so that you see this and then you have the lining. I mean, you have the same line that'll create this bottom part. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, for the pants, I'm gonna add a pants cuff at the bottom. And I'm gonna do the same way I did with the, um, the on the top. I'm gonna take a measurement of my ankle and Divide it in half and add a half inch in all. Pin all the cuffs in place and then sew them together. Okay, our cuff bands are all sewn in place. So now we're just going to go ahead and sew our jumpsuit together. So we're going to turn the top inside out, pants right side up, drop the pants, I mean drop the top on top of the pants and match that waistband up at the four corners and sew it together and I can't wait to show you guys how it looks on.